<laughs> All right, look, we live in the den. This L train. I'm here with Miles, Wing, and Big Happy. Back. Live in the den with the L train out of Congress Park, Southeast DC. Yeah, we was talking about your defense. You was, you was elaborating on. Yeah, let me get it. People not understand. Yeah, we gonna get the ball, man. We gonna dress yeah. this right now. They All the way to the bottom. Ain't playing no defense. You got the floor. Yeah, and I don't know where that come from or who started that. Every game no, I played. We got to finish before defense. Uh -huh. Got to finish up that guild. That that did, you, did we finish the guild? Oh, so that's what, yeah, game? so that's what it was yeah. about. Me checking Sean, Deshaun Stevenson yeah. going back and forth, and I was saying like. Cause Gil, no, me and Gil going back and forth. Cause Gil hit me with that move. And I was saying one thing about me, I'm not afraid to get shook. Like I'm a strap. And when people say I don't play no defense, I think it come from my demeanor don't look like I'm playing hard. Like if you look at Moten, Moten sits down. Hold on, then they say that. Who can check it? But that's what I'm saying. But like but you, you see, but Moten you came back defense, down off of that move. Moten sits and, down. And Gay Gill that motherfucker up and under. Oh, oh yes, sir. When he yes, went sir. and they ran out on the court. Yeah. Like, make sure you put that in this when you. So, see it from a different angle. See it from a different angle. Put it in the same canvas. Came off a different pitch. Tried to dig it out. Hoping that they could linger on it. Let us out of reach and they just couldn't put their thing on it. Always want to catch the end of X ray. Before we get there, for your defense, what was that about? That was purple too. Was people yelling at you? No, nah, that was that was uh, his man. Uh, oh, killer, not killer, the one that got the flathead motherfucker got the Range Rover. Oh, Dirk, he was there. Yeah, that oh, was Dirk. Dirk. Okay, that was Dirk. That's who Gil. Okay. When Gil took the T-shirt off, said, "Nigga, I'm from here too, nigga." Oh, that was him. <laughs> he was talking to Dirk. Dirk, 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 Dirk was going, give, yeah. you know, rooting for you all the way up and down. That's when, when Gil took that motherfucker and tried to drive you on in the, into the fence. Yes, Lord. He was, <laughs> he was putting that shoulder all the yeah. way in my chest and every that, time. And that's when he, that's he, when he took the shirt started. off. Boom. And then after he took the shirt off and then went on Dirk, that's when you came down and gave him that motherfucker step through up and under. And I said, yeah. Gil goes up. Anyway, <laughs> and you finger rolled that motherfucker. They ran out on the court on that motherfucker. Yeah, but I like I like the challenge though, cause if I'm playing like if I play in the game like now, I play in the league, the old league, right? I don't be trying to do too much. I try to just play basketball until it's a challenge. Like when I was messing with you the other day at halftime, I wasn't doing. I, first of all, Friday night my night. I be I'm getting yeah. my party on. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> I, like tomorrow we play at ten o'clock. So what? I'm gonna figure it out. Just one one thing Gil did do. When he when he when he called me about coming down there, he, he called your name, Greg, and, and Kurt name out. He said, I wanna play against Lonnie, Greg Jones, and Kurt Smith. That's mm -hmm. I don't think he, he didn't want to play with Kurt. Just right. so happened Bone stole him yeah. from Rare S's and he <laughs> ended up playing with all day. That's Kwame's story that, that he stole him. He wanted to play against Kurt, against was his words. He said, I want to play against Lonnie, Kurt, and Greg. And then when Kurt got it, Gil even told Kurt, man, this, this should, you know, I'm I'm going to fall in line, to it, but but go ahead, this this your shit, go ahead. Yeah. But but after D Payne and them put that put them put that motherfucking hammer on him when he come down there bullshit. And the low cut uh we all yeah. went put the low cut uh Chuck Taylor with no socks and got his ass handed to him. He, after, after that, it, it was love, but he, he definitely gave uh, y'all a y'all prop. That's, it. He, that's, that's who I want to play against. Yeah. Now, let me know when that when we when I can play against them. So that, that no, was, I love that bump playing was, against them though. No, I love playing against him though, because that's me. Like I like the hype. I like I like the excitement. I like the 
intensity games. I like the ones when everybody there waiting to see you fail or see you shine. Like I live for those moments. Cause if you look at all the other games, I pass the ball and let everybody else get off. You didn't pass that motherfucker picked. against the Sean Stevenson. Oh no, I wasn't at all. <laughs> SpongeBob just had to. He sucked it up that day. Yeah, he had he to. He gave him. that motherfucker to you, and you ain't look back. He just nah. went on down and so and he, just enjoyed the show. He played against another. Now he's well. He ain't he ain't letting yet. He will be another NBA legend that played in the gates. In his younger days, you in your older days, his younger days. How was that playing against Kevin Durant? I I just I had an advantage on him for that simple reason because of the age difference, like. And I got a chance to, I went to Kwame shot one day and I missed the game when him and P. Shitty played. Yeah. I missed the game. I heard about it though, I went home. But Kwame showed it to me before I played against him for the first time. And I was like, yo, they letting this man just dribble to half court and just squeeze. I'm like, I'm not letting them do that. So if you look, the very first time I guarded him, I picked him up 94 and we raced all the way down court and he finally got past me. He went and dunked that joint, boom! My man Vale, always, always <laughs> petrified. Don't check him, Slim. Don't guard him. I was like, what? I'm guarding him. And I remember that. He tried to tell you don't yeah. guard him. And I just kept picking him up, 94, the whole time. I said, I'm going to make him work. He's not going to just come down and just keep shooting threes on me. If you look, he ain't make a whole lot of threes, except for if he was wide open. Mm -hmm. So that's like them the challenges that I like. So and he like, had to check me, too. Here's the thing. Yeah, you did, you did, you did good that game. It was another game. Mm -hmm. You know, no hard ball. It's another game that, right. uh, for some reason, I don't know why Bill went there. Against who? Kevin again? I played Kevin Durant then, but guess who was coaching? I don't know how this happened. Boogaloo. Boogaloo was coaching? Boogaloo. Who? Vail wasn't there. I don't know how he came. No, nah, Vail wasn't coaching. It was always Boogaloo. No, I don't know how he came to coach. Who? I'm trying to figure out to this day. I'm looking at the footage. Zach. Say the name, man. God damn. Killer. What the fuck? Freddie Primus. Primus. Was Fred Primus. Who? Coach. He made me piss Katie off. Katie yeah. Off. Yeah, Fred and Primus. And the game was cool until he, he pissed Katie off. They got into Katie it real bad. <laughs> yeah, Kate, yeah, they did. Yeah. He was talking shit to Katie big time. But Katie, we won, though. We yeah, still won, yeah, though. Yeah, I won, but Katie went berserk. This shit was <laughs> yeah, he, he went off. He, he was <laughs> Young blood Katie or pro Katie? Pro Katie. He's pro Katie. He got MVP the year after. I, I will say that. Him and Gil both had their best years after coming down the farm. Yeah. Yeah. He kept saying, you know, oh, who was sleeping Jack Oh, yeah, Fred, uh, Fred Primus. <laughs> yeah, it was Fred. I said, I got that one. I do have that one. Cause Between I, Freddie Primus and Beamer, I don't know who... Who woke uh, Katie up the most? <laughs> he sure woke Goddamn him up. Could be a crazy section. He almost made like I'm trying. I'm trying to figure out how Dave made turn his Achilles. You remember that movie? Yeah. On the break. I remember. Oh, that was sick. Oh, Super Dave. Yeah. yeah. Katie gave him an in and out on the break. Yeah. I thought he was gonna took. <laughs> Ain't no way Achilles still 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 standing. He went, <laughs> he went off. He yeah. He did. And he, and he stirred Freddie Prey. You said. He is third Freddie Freddie Brown. Yeah. His mother was there that game. And his yeah, mom. you're right. I remember Fred was over there yeah. trying to. Fred in, in, in the coaching game. I think I think because um, whoever was coaching wasn't doing Boogaloo. And Fred he rubbed came Boogaloo over there and took over. Yeah. I remember that he rubbed Boogaloo off. Boogaloo was the assistant coach. Mm -hmm. Every game. So now no holds bars, and we gonna get this. This is exclusive. This is a Goodman League live and then everything exclusive. Ain't never asked, I'm gonna ask him now. <laughs> we ain't never got this story, we gotta get it now. <laughs> <laughs> we had a Kobe and Shaq break up in the farms. You and Sponge. What really happened? Who gave the ultimatum? And how did Bill feel? I'm trying to remember. Before y'all get to that, before you get to that ultimatum, mm. y'all was the best team in the gates during that time. Right. Y'all yeah. wow. had the best guard. Y'all the best point, y'all the best two or three, whatever you call yourself. Sponge was the best. And and Vail got to get some of that. And I'm going to get the goddamn uh, four-time coach in the den. He got to get some of that blame because he, he, he couldn't, you know, it was your show. Sponge was just, I think, was he just coming from Delaware State at the time? No. Nah. He had just hit the surface from somewhere. His motherfucker just he made popped. the finals in 2004. Yeah, he just popped so, up out of nowhere. That yeah. that squad right there was never supposed to lose no game. He was coming to his prime at that time, man. I don't know if y'all 
No, his 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 pride. Heads or what? They yeah, were, was, you, you couldn't see that on the court. Yeah, it was a riff. I mean, but I it was, but I'm saying it was a riff. But you know, my I could play with anybody. Like I get out the way, but it's like he was trying to build that name for himself. Yeah. He was trying to be like, man, y'all. Keep I'm gonna more give it. That, I'm gonna more give it to him. Yeah. The beef to him that that he wouldn't play play with you because. I'm gonna get along. Nah, I, I watched Lonnie step back and try to let Spawn shine. Seen, like, you gotta see. But go ahead, when you finish your you gotta finish, see certain plead your case. and people. Please your case. So, here's the thing. Here's the facts. After the breakup, he became a three time, four time champion. Mm -hmm. They had a better team, though. But team, you, as in, Foz, when he brought in uh, Mouton and those other older guys. They were really good defenders. They played the right way and everything. And they played, Keenan, they played their role. Right, they played their role. They weren't alphas. Right. And, and, and here was yeah. the problem, too. Well, like, here's the thing. Gonna, hold on, let him finish his story. The reason why I'm going to give it to you, because mm. you was the vet. Mm. You ain't really talk to him and tell him. Like, I, no, so I, 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 no I tried to. Me and E did. Me and E did. No, Sponge wasn't to. hearing that shit. Sponge wasn't trying to hear it. Sponge was on a mission of think, building his name. I think because he gave him a name. No, oh, he definitely get, he he gets the blame. He, he created that monster. Bone, he created bone, that monster. Kurt, Kurt Bone always tell me that I created the monster. Yeah, he created that monster. I created the monster. He couldn't, he couldn't come to shooters without your approval. But I ain't care who I played with, though, because I could play with anybody. I could mix it up. Like, I could be, like, right now, and I know people want to hear about this shit, too. In the, in the league I play in now, I switch teams. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm going to that. Right. So we can get to that. We can get to that. But hold on, hold on, hold on. I ain't gonna go there now. Yeah. I ain't gonna go there. Now. <laughs> right. what, 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 was there ever a, a, a conversation with you and you? Your man was the CEO. Right. Yeah. Was there ever a conversation with you and Vail that said, "Hey, man, I can't play with this motherfucker. Yeah. It's yeah. him or me." Yeah. I told him. I said. I told him <laughs> that he chose him over me. I told him oh, that. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. I, told him that. I, told him. I told him that. I told okay. him that he chose him over me because and because he he and and he, and he went to he went to fucking use his guy. Yeah. But he would not part way with Sponge. Nah, at all. And, and I know y'all had to have that conversation. I got this on tape too. <laughs> Go ahead. I got this on tape, man. I told him when I ever got Marty in a situation interview, I'm going to tell him. He said, "Do yeah, do it, do you? Where you my man? Do yeah." You? So that's on tape. Sponge actually told me on tape and said, "I want the veil and said it's even me or him." Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure, but veil ain't let me go. He ain't let me go. He letting that sponge go either. But, no, he didn't. He and didn't. I, so how did I, I you was on. this guy? How did you feel about yeah. that? I stepped off. I was cool with it. Like people make their decisions. People got we all different people. You know what I'm saying? And this is the other part too. If y'all think about it, every championship that I played in, I fouled out. I fouled on all of them. So if y'all think about it, every time we went to the chip, even when I had Baby Shock on my team, I fouled out the game. So. I ruined, I, I'm going to blame myself even though I don't think I should have been fouled. Not as much as I get fouled. I feel like I shouldn't be getting no calls. I, I, I thought the refs used to give you a, a, yeah. a, 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 a bum, credit, a, a bum credit, deal. Credit, you went on to build the Rod Boys and y'all made the 2013 finals. Yeah. And no, let's out, stick to this right here. Chip, we not letting Vail off the hook. <laughs> we not letting him off the hook. <laughs> no, nah, we did. We had a riff and I, I say that to him. So, I, so I what was EVE's thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. He was loyal to Vail too. I know that. And I but, brought E over it, but I so, didn't try to take nobody with me. I didn't try to take nobody with me. I was I'm like, talking about when when it was y'all with Vail. With the E say Vail, come on, man. This dude. He did. This dude ain't no team player. He he but, definitely talked to Vail. He okay, did. Yeah. He talked to me too. Oh, that was my guy. Nah, when you watch, I didn't you, miss E. Uh, I miss E. I definitely miss E. Here's my question. Because mm -hmm. I seen it early with. Uh, City, city, with the city life, and he played with Dex Sponge. That's I, what I don't remember. Limited, so, oh yeah. To have him on your team, why, why? I'm just asking. I don't know if you did or not. Mm -hmm. Why did you want to pass the ball? What why, I mean is, why he didn't want to pass? No. Why you didn't want to give him the keys? Um, because me, I'm technical. I might be too critical about basketball, but I know it worked down the farms because of the rims and how he bounced and all that stuff. But Excuse me. To me, he wasn't that good to me. I think that he outworked people. He he outworked people. He was physical yeah. and did all that stuff. To me, I think E 
was better. Oh, if, he was definitely the catalyst. You know what I'm saying? He, he was, was the guy. He, he was that guy, yeah. But he just was like blowing E out the way, you know? But when I left, though, he ain't played the same way he did when I was nah, there. Nah, he handled that he motherfucker had, more. Right, he ain't had nobody to battle against. Right. He felt like I was out the way, and I think it was the whole thing of, it's my turn oh, to shine. Oh, oh. I, think, I, think, I think I'm about to do Vail. Vail had a different... No, it was, Vail. It, was, it was the alpha. I agree with L on that. It was that the lot the other alpha, and Lonnie was the bigger alpha. No, Lonnie was, already was stamped. No, but right. let me say this. A let me finish. Time, a lot, oh, Lonnie a was already stamped. Last time Vail was upset with Lonnie. But Vail, but Vail don't want no drama though. So Vail wasn't really getting in between it. Shoot it was drama. It was yeah, but it was <laughs> but, but he but he Vail ain't the type of dude though. Like now, you could piss him off and he gonna really really go go in. But him being a like mediator of he ain't Phil Jackson. Damn sure wasn't. So you know Phil Jackson, he going he going he going to create a balance between Robin and Mike and Pippen or whatever like that. Bill going to try to make it work. He going to try to talk to him. He going to try to talk to me. We never talked together. Us three, we never talked together. Okay, now it's anything coming. Anything like that. We we never, we never did so that. No relationship was, with response outside it, of that. It, it wasn't. It wasn't. And, then and, the and it didn't have to be. If you were a basketball player, with that team they had. Was, uh, but then the whole thing this too. Me missing games for the Rucker. Good. That was an issue, too. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. So, hey, well, let me, let me clear that up. <laughs> let me clear that up. <laughs> let me clear that up. <laughs> let me clear that up. Please do. Gotti bag. <laughs> Free. <laughs> No, the Gotti brother bag. Well, whatever, Gotti <laughs> bag. <laughs> free. And free. That's, and that's my man. Everybody know that. That's my man. <laughs> they, knew, they knew when Lonnie was going on his, Thursdays. His whole thing was loyalty. Like, man, Fuck, he, he, he wasn't was loyal to you because he stuck with Spun. <laughs> but let's keep that 1,000. No, like, we, we, we play so-and-so today, and I'm like, dude. Oh. So, look, so, so let, me get, let me make this real quick so we don't get off topic. <laughs> yeah. This is a typical game at Rucker for me. First, I used to fly up there, right? I Nigga, start, you was that dude of Ruckers. Right, I started catching the train so I could get off in the city. First, they'd fly me up there first Nigga, you class. know who you was playing for up there? No, I know all of them. Do you know I'm talking uh, about them, them star niggas? But that, the that, 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 that what made me proud. Had a team. All had them star had a team. niggas. Had a team. Man, they, them niggas was, after my first was year, looking for you up there. Right, after my first year, I played a dude <laughs> named Chaz, Black Hand. He passed away recently. But he an OG from Queens. He got all these stories about him robbing the bank while he was locked up. His man came and they changed clothes, all this. He got, a, you know, New York stories be off the wall. Right. <laughs> That's the guy who put 50 Cent on. So my first year, I was playing with them and I was out there with 50. So after that, they used to take care of me. They used to just give me money. It wasn't no set price. They'd just hand me a bag as soon as I get there. But after that year, 50 blew up. Chaz and them was they had all this beef and all this stuff going on. It was a <laughs> it was a bidding war for me. It was a bidding war for I, me. I remember that. Matt Joe, Diddy, Back, all them, everything. Good man. Guess what I guess guess what my price was? <laughs> This was this was the price, and this is the crazy part. Even while I was playing with Murder Inc., <laughs> Diddy had uh, Justin's restaurant. Mm -hmm. Vail was there. Vail, my man Katie, his nephew Ty, yeah. all of my friends. I had a whole bunch of girls. We in Justin's. We eating good. They had industry nights on Tuesday nights. We in there eating good. Everything. The bill had to be about two, three grand or something like that. We asked for the bill. Girl, come up. Oh, just sign right here. It's taken care of. I wasn't even playing on Diddy team. That's how the shit was going. We go to a club that night. It's NBA players playing with the Nets. When Sam Cassell was playing with the Nets and other NBA dudes, they stand outside the rope, can't get in. Jay-Z and them having a party. I walk up, white lady. I ain't never seen her in my life. Prime. Oh, come on. Who you with? I'm just pointing that girl I don't even know in the line. <laughs> like, yeah, let, <laughs> let them in. This is what I was dealing with. Yeah. So when I play with Murder, Inc., they fly me up, put me in a hotel, take me out, travel. We go to L.A. They got a house in L.A. They got a house in Miami. We do, I'm going to the award shows. I'm doing every. I'm like, in my early life. days in the gates, yeah. Puffy and them would have called me up <laughs> <laughs> and announced the games. I want my man. <laughs> Shit. Beamer, you got it. I'm up, I'm up in New York. 
And then when Jay <laughs> got in the mix, I did it. Did it. No. When Jay got in the mix, the shit got even worse. Yeah. I, I was just went on tour with and one. I, I stopped playing in the D League because that shit was just a waste of time. I had surgery on my thumb because I had cut my thumb in Miami or whatever. So I wasn't playing yet. I was on tour. And one just started. We on the West Coast. My phone ring. It's a OG, the one they call Juan. That's his man. He the one who run Rock Nation Sports now. He was like, Prime was good. I'm like, ain't no who this. He's like, this is Juan. This OG was up. He was like, hold on, Jay wants to speak to you. I'm like, huh? Jay getting the phone. He was like, Prime was good. He was like, look, I'm putting the team in next year. I need you. No, he said, I'm putting the team in now. I need you. It was that summer. I was like, man, I can't even play right now. I had surgery my thumb. He was like, nigga, I just need you on my bench. He said, I just want to look good. He was like, where your man Strick at? R.I.P. Uh, Big John Strick, that's your man. Mm -hmm. Strick passed away. He said, where's Strick? I said, Strick in DR. He said, hold on. This is how gangster this shit was. He said, hold on. I swear it wasn't even 30 seconds. Come back. Strick, hello? I'm like, what? He was like, <laughs> he was like, this is Jay. Strick was like, who? He was like, this is Jay, nigga. Who else you know Jay? He said, I know the voice, but he was like, whatever. I was like, how you find him that quick? He said, I run DR. He says only two hotels he could have been at. I got right on the first one. Wow. <laughs> I was like, are you serious? He told Strick the same thing. He was like, look, I need you here. Strick left DR. Came to play in the Rucker. Left a pro league to come play in the Rucker. We get up there, it's just a show. He just when the sneaker was coming out. He had the bus, the tour bus and everything. We'll meet at Baseline Studios, wherever he at. Everybody hop on. We used to bring girls with us, everything. Come up, Beyonce on the bus with us. We, it was just a show for him. He was promoting his sneaker. Right, right. That's what he was doing. He was promoting the Reebok joint. So I had I had drama on the bus because I had a girl on the bus and then my chick I was talking to, she pops up at the court and all this. Try, he laughing and talking about something. Damn, Prime. He was like, I'm going to be like you when I grow up. <laughs> it was just so much fun. But then I was staying at the W in the suite. Then go to 4040, got a table. Don't have to pay for nothing. Like, and Rockaway was out. Yeah, that life. He was just sending me bags and boxes and stuff of Rockaway. That life. I was the king of New York for two years, Slim. For two years. I played longer than that, but for two years, though, I was the king. And then the money was just stupid. I was getting 50 grand. I was getting 10 grand. I was get flying everywhere. they just give me money from my pocket. But this one part people don't know. Who spoiled me, and I'm going to say the word spoil. Yep, spoiled. Who spoiled me the most was them BMF dudes. Mm. When they came on the scene, is that the Black Mafia? Yes, sir, Rebob. Big Meech. Big Meech. They spoiled me the most. I was on tour with Anne One and, and um, Escalade, RIP. He was just in New York. Yeah, all right. I was about to ask you about Troy Jackson, man. He the guy, that's the guy. Troy is a Escalade, great yeah, dude. Good dude. Great dude. Rest in peace, Escalade. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Hey, look, I tried dude. my best. I tried my best last year. <laughs> what? I tried my best. The spoil, you I try my best. Oh, you stupid. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that, that budget, hey. that budget you had. <laughs> Slim, let me tell you something. This the realest ever, Slim. Look, I was at happy hour. Hold that thought right Go there, L Train. We're going to take a pause for the calls, and we'll be back live in the den with Big Happy, Wings World, and the L Train. <laughs>